Wendy, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be from the lawn. Sweet. And what are we making first? They're called bracers, huh? Awesome. What are you going to be? The witch from Mulan. The witch from Mulan? Yeah. Okay, we're starting with your sleeves, and they're going to be these. We found these two black pieces with decor. They're called a modern bead something or other. I don't know. We got it at Joanne's. And we figured we could just actually use those directly as her bracers. We're going to put it on like this. So it's going to wrap around her arm and be hit the bracer. And we're going to attach some elastic to the back so they can just slip on. And that's how we're starting the costume. Okay, you can see she's just used hot glue and the tiny bit of elastic there, and we measured it for the elastic there. We're gonna let the glue dry and try it on more. So Lily watched the new Mulan and fell in love with the witch and decided she wanted to be her for Halloween. So, the headband is really cool. It is, uh, that she wears is made out of bones, and it's really neat. But we didn't know what we were going to do, so we got out our Halloween supplies. I bought these little birds from the dollar store a couple years ago, and so we decided to deconstruct them to make it into the headband. So you'll see we've just used clippers to deconstruct it. We've got the bird head, we've got the rib cages here, and then you've got, actually I think these are the wings. These are the wings, and these are the tails and feet. So we use the wings feet and the tail on both sides. And that is going to be the basis for it and then we're going to attach it to a wide band of elastic to go around her head. Stay tuned. Okay, we're getting ready to work on the crown for the witch. So we bought this very thick um, elastic and we're measuring her head to see what will fit. Will that fit? Oh yes, it's a perfect cut. Now Grandma's practicing the layout on the elastic. Let's see how it's going to look. See the thick elastic behind it. She's practicing. it down with hot glue? Yep. Okay. You want to try to make a pattern for a pullover vest kind of for her chest piece. And so I drew with a little magic marker where I think it should go, at least for the beginning. And with patterns you're making on your own, it usually takes several to get on your bone. The other thing you need to remember is if you want both sides to look the same, then you better fold your pattern in half when you do your cutting, so that you do turn out to be exactly the same on both sides. So, I'm taking the pattern and folding it in half at the neckline, down the middle before I cut so both sides will be exactly the same. This is the pattern that we ended up with and we're going to try it on. And I think we need to make the whole fur head just a little bit bigger than the whole piece. This looks about right on the shoulders. We think that way. I think it looks pretty good too. And then once you get your pattern, then you lay it out on your fabric. In our case, it's a vinyl, and you trace it. And after tracing it, then you cut it out. And that's how it looks. We cut a little bit of this fabric that we're going to use for the wings and cut.
kind of gather it up and put it on the breastplate and give it a little more dimension, especially if we use this side to show those little scallops. So that's the plan. Let's see how it turns out. Cut right up to the scallops and leave the netting. Take off some of this netting. It won't be so cold. And she is a little girl, so we want to be careful not to get too goofy with it. We don't want a lot of poo poo. We don't want it to be too heavy. This fabric up at Joanna's. They have a great selection of Halloween fabrics right now. We put some hot glue just below the neckline to glue that too. And like she's kind of bunching and gathering it. She thinks really smart and using a glove so she's great. It is getting closer. You can see the spider legs up here in a fan. We got the birds. Face, and then we're using the feet. The feet from one of these birds, right? I cut them. Cut them about right here above the joint, and then the little spokes off the back. Those are going to be tucked. Those are going to be tucked right here. Tuck the feet in and use the back toe down here at the bottom. Well, Tristy wants to have the feathers that are going to be shoulders to come up a little bit. So what we're going to do with that little heavier piece of vinyl is we're going to glue it right behind where we have a mark with the feather so it'll make it come up and it'll look more like she has shoulders. And we put this on her to mark where the top of her shoulders were to put the X's. So we decided to do open sleeves. We like the idea of the scarf, but I want Lily as a three-year-old to have free hands. So we're just creating this, the look of arms and we're going to hang them to the shoulders of the vest, the breast pick. I'm going to glue these on. Again, you want to put the right side facing up, but I'm just going to put as much glue as I can to adhere these here. So I'm going to glue it along the shoulder. Put a bunch of glue here. Just a minute, Lily. I think that'll work. And then now you can watch me burn myself. Wait, is that the right way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. Use, use a tool of some kind. Push it down so you don't burn yourself. What I want is a piece that comes in the front and a piece that comes around the back and I've got these way too wide so I've got to make them smaller. And again, I just practice what I want on a piece of plastic till I get it where I want it. So I'm going to cut off a whole lot of the width. It's way too wide for my little girl. Skinny bean. What are we doing, Grandma? Okay, I be pretty doggone close. I think this is a goal. Now I need two of these. So I'm for each side. Yeah, we're going to lay that out on the vinyl and cut two of these. So I'm putting the pattern on the vinyl, getting ready to cut it. See, we're doing two sides because there's going to be one for each leg, front and back. Okay, now Grandma is uh, putting feathers all over the pants, the vinyl pants. Actually, I guess it's not pants, but wings that go over the legs. They look amazing. 